Welcome back, this is uh, part two of the 64D Apache Longbow build, the Etelari kit. Um, and it just dawned on me that I hadn't actually done another video yet. So uh, let's get on with it. So moving on to the next stage, um, section three on the instructions this part here I um, don't know how well we can see that but um, what I've done is cut the, the halves off um, off the sprues these two these two numbered them on the inside with a indelible pen so looking at the the two halves that go to get each of the two halves that go together just to check alignment and stuff um, and the first first thing that comes to mind is the alignment of the I think these are the exhausts um, engine exhaust is not very good so they'll have to be worked on to get those to align and subsequently the, the, the alignment here isn't that good yeah it can work with it but uh, um, yeah that that needs some work on on those two anyway um, and if I take the other two um, these are a little bit worse just pin them together um, again pinning them together they're a little bit worse um, again the alignment there is not very good so they'll have to be sanded back and the joints in the two in the vents will have to be Build, a little bit like jet engine exhaust um, again that, that needs to be cleaned up that joint there and then get all of that aligned and then this yeah, this actual edge along here this joint is actually quite raised so that will need some work as well to get those to align and there's a whacking great sink mark just in there so that will need to be worked on as well um, but I'll take these together and move on to the next bit, get everything prepared. I like to try and get all of this sort of engineering done um, before we start any assembly. Um, go ahead, checking all the fits and stuff like that. But let's go and see what we can do. So these parts have all had their areas of black painted on, and while they're uh, while they're drying, uh, we can move on to other parts of the build so what I would do is normally, normally a noisy chair um, is get on with some of the other things like putting wing halves together and dealing with the dealing with the seams there um, putting these sections together these are the side casings of whatever they are there's a couple of those and then we also put on put together the, the halves of the the um, rocket mounts or whatever they are whatever you call them <laughs> the word has just gone out of my head and then the other thing is 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 the actual the actual missiles themselves um, what I do is put the halves together deal with the seams as you would any other seam and then at the and the ends because you you want to hold them to to sort of paint them um, in the ends drill a hole and put some stretch sprue into it um, and what I do is is drill the hole in the stretch uh, in the end of the missile put the stretch sprue in and stick it in place the reason for that is um, once it's painted um, and then you've only got the end of it end of the missile to to sort of deal with um, it's just a matter of, of cutting that piece of sprue off filing the end flat uh, and then touching that up um, probably with a brush or something but that then that just helps get those jobs done so there's a whole six of them eight of them eight missiles to do um, and the other things to do is the, the pods as well so I'm going to get the pods done um, 
while the paint's drying and then we come back and start doing some of the cockpit assembly um, we'll have a look at that so there, there were some problems that I actually had with the cockpit I should really go over those um, first and foremost um, the cockpit had raised detail that you had to remove to fit the decals um, which is fine in principle um, in hindsight I think I'd rather have left the raised detail and painted it problem with that is it's to do with the A version rather than the D version so they provide you with uh, some really nice decals and that's sarcasm um, the decals are rubbish um, the two issues really one is um, they don't go down very well um, and the second is they don't fit so to get them to actually fit um, I've had to one cut chunks out of them I don't know if you can see it in that one I had to cut a really big chunk off of the side of the decal um, because it just overhung the side and not just that the amount of carrier film that was on it so I had to trim back the carrier film and get it and try and get it all to line up um, uh, it presented a nightmare um, it really did uh, it got to the stage where I think it's this decal here it just would not sit in place um, and even before I was putting the cockpit together it was the decal was just lifting off um, it was almost as if there was no adherence to it at all and I ended up sticking it down with PVA glue um, covered the, plas the, the plastic with a, a thin film of PVA glue laid the decal over the top and pressed it down um, and it's finally held in place but yeah um, I've never had so much problems with decals before ever um, you know going back to back in the day doing old airfix kits and stuff never had the problem with decals that I had with these absolute rubbish um, but persisted with them to get them into place because to be honest once everything's sealed up you can't really see a lot into the into the cockpit anyway but that was that the other thing that was a problem was the rear seaters control column um, if you put that into the location point in the kit and I don't yeah it will show here um, it's that that hole there if you put it into that position there and try and get the seat in you won't get the seat in if you get the seat in you can't get the control column in the hole so um, the thing to do is to you know best of a bad job and all that sort of thing so I've got the seat into position which you can't really put the seat anywhere else and then drilled a different hole um, about three millimeters two millimeters further forward to get the control column to mount in even so um, you know it was quite an awkward an awkward fit to get that into place but yeah this this is sorry I've gone out of shot again um, yeah this is this is posing a prob problems again um, yeah I've, I've got this kit because I wanted to try and convince myself I suppose that it's a very kit you know the, the, are okay but anyway let's carry on um, we've got more to discuss and uh, one of the areas that presented a bit of a problem in there um, can't, don't know if I can get the light in there to to show it up but there's um, on the inside of the fuselage there's uh, some brackets that you line up this plate to and they're actually a really good fit I mean it's, it's, it's a nice piece of piece of work however um, 
yeah they're just a, a, a tad um, awkward to get the fuselage to uh, to get together so one of the things that I used was these these clamps um, I don't know where I got these might have been on uh, online auction site I've got a funny thing it was but so what I did was actually just gently squeeze those together like that until they held that in place there um, and that held everything in place while while the glue was uh, setting but even so it, um, it wasn't a particularly easy thing to do to get all of that to sit nicely um, on onto the fuselage is still um, even with that sort of tightened up it's still I'm trying to get in there with a the camera but it's still a bit of gap in there um, which isn't I suppose it's not a real problem because it's in there out of the way and everything else is sort of lining up in the in the cockpit uh, my main concern was the cockpit lining up um, but that has um, there's only appears to be one fixing point which is at the base here um, on the inside of the cockpit where that seat goes but apart from that everything seems to line up it's a little bit out on the front there but that's because there's there is actually nothing to hold the cockpit in place there's no locating pins or lugs for it to line up against so it sort of floats pretty much where it wants uh, yeah so not not entirely happy with that but we've got um, parts stuck together so the front of the fuselage here um, got a good joint a fair, well a fairly good joint there um, the nose section there is still a tad out with that fixing hole so I don't know if that's in camera right okay so that, that's a little bit out with that fixing hole as you can see it's not quite lined up but the fuselage itself is, is lined up so you just have to adjust that hole I think and underneath where that where that panel goes um, that seems to have gone together quite nicely that's all joined up quite well sat that's stuck really well together um, so next thing to do I think will be to put a little bit of weathering in there a little bit of highlighting a bit of dry brushing in the cockpit just to give it some texture and the other thing is to add the screen that goes in there and I want to move on to that next find the part I had it sat here just now and it's decided to hide away where's that gone all right I tucked it out of the way right okay so this is the screen that goes between the rear rear seater and the front seater and it has according to the instructions um, a band of black around that edge there the easiest way to do this is well I, I found was to get a strip of masking tape and I used a strip of one mil wide masking tape I cut it to one mil wide um, one millimeter um, wide and then laid that across the top and across the side and then fed these other pieces of masking tape up alongside it to create the mask on the inside and then remove the the um, the one millimeter wide tape so the next thing to do is to give that a coat of black 
just to sort of seal that in place and that's the next thing on there um, the other thing that I've decided to do um, mainly because I wanted to um, was things like the rotor here and the rotor at the front um, I'm not worried that the rotors rotate um, in the kit um, there's sort of collars that go on to the end of the, the sort of rotor mounts and stuff like that to allow the rotors to rotate I'm not overly fussed about that um, the helicopters are going to go onto a display case or up on a shelf and you know I'm not going to sit there spinning the rotor and all that sort of stuff so I'm not going to overly worry about that once I've got all of that together they're going to just get stuck into place um, so we move on to the next bit um, I've got some obviously I think this is about where we are um, at the moment I'll come back well, I know what I meant to show you while I'm still here so we had the missiles all painted uh, these are Hellfire missiles they're in black and I've given them a coat of gloss varnish um, there is a decal to go on there um, which is a yellow band according to according to the instructions it's a yellow band that goes around them and they're provided here on the decal sheet um, now given the experience I've had with the decal sheets in the in the cockpit I'm not overly fussed about these um, I'm probably almost 100% to be honest um, I'm probably going to mask off the the missiles and paint the yellow band um, I think I think I'd end up with a better finish anyway um, apart from that that's where we are at the moment I think that's a good point to end this this one it's a bit chaotic because I've shot it over a few days but you know I hope you've kept up with what I'm doing um, I've got to come back with a few things that I've got to finish off and then uh, we'll move we'll move forward in the construction so thanks for watching if you've got this far please like and subscribe um, and uh, leave comments um, be happy to read your comments thanks for watching bye for now